trying to work out how to use the bloody thing. Hello there and welcome to this episode. It's the 8th of April and well, I saw the start of the year. I wasn't expecting such awesome weather like this. It's a very thick frost or a light scattering of snow as I head up to uh, up Bleaklow this morning via the B29 crash site. And this is my first video using my new GoPro Hero 10 whatever. Um, I probably should have tested it out at home, um, but stuck it together and um, put the battery in and hopefully we'll get some uh, usable footage. So um, I'll catch you all soon. The start of this walk follows the Pennine Way up to Bleaklow Head, which is in 631 metres. It's a um, tarmac path, but uh, understandable because it's a very popular route I'm walking today. And we need to ensure that our hills aren't eroded in the popular areas. Just got out of the, uh, the gull I've been walking for the past 10-15 minutes. Wind's beginning to pick up now, not protected anymore. Getting, oh, it's getting gusting up to 11 miles per hour. Um, and the temperature is 2.2. So the forecast was gusts up to 20 miles an hour, which will test the, uh, the GoPro because apparently the medium mod that I've got on top of it will uh, account for speeds up to 20 uh, miles an hour so um, here's hoping that um, it stays below 20 and you can hear my beautiful voice speaking with you I've just been schooled by my son I haven't brought a bottle of water with me today <laughs> basics, hey, basics. <laughs> Never mind, I'm sure I'll cope. As I was driving to uh, the lay-by at the start of this morning's walk, I listened to the radio and they were talking about an article that appeared on the BBC News website talking about how people are using rock climbing whether it be indoors or outdoors climbing as therapy as a way of helping themselves mentally and it made me think yes what I'm about to do now is very much therapy it uh, helps me relax helps me reflect and I just feel and I just feel I don't know it's just feel good after well not after while I'm doing the walk and the packing my rucksack planning my route driving to the starting point it's all part of that experience it's all part of that and what other YouTubers have talked about is out in the hills, out in the mountains, just outdoors, is this therapy to help us overcome the issues that we might be facing, whether it be personal life or work life, family life, friends, things that have happened. It's good to get outdoors, isn't it?
what do you think of my new gloves today? They're uh, four class from uh, Decathlon. They've got the little things on their index fingers, so you can use touch screen. Um, I think they're water resistant, not waterproof. Probably not designed for days like this, but uh, they keep my hands quite warm now. What do you think of the video so far? Is it better than others? Can you uh, can you tell the difference in the video using the GoPro as opposed to my uh, my iPhone? I suppose we'll uh, we'll see when we get home and I start editing the video. It's a really nice section here, Penang Way. For, um, shells from the wind and uh, dare I say it it's pretty warm when I'm walking I love being enveloped by the cloud by the clag by the mist and everything starts enclosing around you it's a really good test of your navigation skills Albeit here is a very, very well waymarked path, as uh, hopefully you can you can see. But visibility is uh, beginning to get very, very short distance. So maybe 20, 30 metres. And what an awesome feeling! If I stop momentarily. You can hear the wind, <laughs> unfortunately you can hear the cars in the background as well. The road's getting quite busy at the moment. The forecast was about minus one up on the summits today in the Peak District. Although it does uh, suggest that with wind chill it might get down to minus 10 so um, again the outdoors it's there to challenge us to test our experience or to build our experiences so if you ever want to test or challenge or develop your skills in cold cold conditions actually a route like this is not bad because it's well way marked quite easy to get back and return to your car as well My plan route today is about eight kilometers and although I'm going to hit the height of 631 meters the overall ascent will probably only be about 200 meters um, I don't know if anybody knows the area <coughs> parked on uh, the A57 Snake Pass um, at the place where the Pennine Way crosses the roads it's a decent lay-by there um, top tip, you need to get there early to get a spot. You can get very busy very quickly, even on days like this that may put off some of the more casual walkers. So I suspect the car park will be quite busy when I get back. Nearly at Bleak Low Head. For a moment. <laughs> I was thinking it's just up there, but it's just a little bit further on. Oop. I'm uh, warming up a little bit now, so off comes the beanie, the gloves, and the buff. Not far now until Bleak Low Head, and I would like to apologise for giving you some incorrect information earlier. I've been saying that the summit today is. 631 meters it is actually 633 meters so you may actually get this information during the edit i'll uh, put it on the screen whenever i say 631 just to remind you um but uh <laughs> apologies i wonder if i can remember my river crossing training for my mountain leader course. Let's see if I survive this. 
I'm awesome. <laughs> what do you think? As I'm getting higher, the cloud seems to have lifted slightly, opening up some awesome views. This, this is what it's about. I think I'm on the highest part now, 633. You can still hear me when they get closer. Getting gusts of up to 14.4 miles an hour. Temperature three degrees, so it's a bit windier from when I last checked, but it's uh, a bit warmer. And uh, I don't really think it's um, wind chill is bringing it down to minus 10. It's, uh, it's not that bad, it's quite a nice day, really and beautiful views from the top. It's always good to uh, to get to a named peak. Um, what they call, I think, they're called Ethels, I think, in, um, in the Peak District. I'll have a look. Maybe even be able to reward myself with a nice, a nice patch or a badge to say I've reached this peak. Um, I'm now going to be going that way. Um, on the way down, I'm going to go via the B29 crash site. Um, but uh, out of respect to those who were killed in the crash, I probably won't do much filming there. Um, might take a, a few photos. When I started my walk this morning, I could see the the peaks, the tops were covered in clag, cloud, mist, whatever we're supposed to call it here. And um, part of me was hoping once I was, uh, once I'd reached a certain point, I'd have to get my compass out and start walking on a bearing through the mist on the, uh, on the tops. But it's not turned out like that, which is fine because Instead of having a great time testing my navigational skills, I have some awesome views I wasn't really expected to have. Thirteen members of the United States Air Force died when their B-29 aircraft crashed here, on top here. You can see the debris strewn all over. It's very sad. I spent 20 years in the military and it always makes me sad whenever I see anything like this. Something to remind me. Yeah. Just leaving the, uh, the crash site, the area where most of the debris seems to be strewn. And I feel quite sad, really. Um, 13, 13 people died. Makes me, makes me reflect on my time in the military, the people I knew who, who were killed. I'm at the um, summit of Higher Stone Shelf and here at the trig point at 621 metres. Give a hat in a moment. 22 miles an hour wind, so I don't know if you can hear me. 
windier down at the bottom than it was at the top. Well, let's go and try and find my hat. Found my hat, so all good in the world. I thought I'd do my uh, last piece to camera. The car's about 200 meters over, over there. So it's been, uh, been an awesome walk today. I think it's about 89k, but I'll put it up on screen how far I've uh, walked today and the total ascent. But it's um, the first time of really of a, of a named peak. In the, uh, in the Peak District, getting up uh, Bleak Low Head at 633 metres and then High Stone Shelf at 631 metres. So I'm quite proud of the day. Um, we started off very, very cold, very, very misty. Um, I thought I was going to have to get my compass out and walk on a bearing at one point, but no, it was a very well marked, well way marked path and the, uh, the mists soon lifted to reveal absolutely beautiful countryside out here absolutely beautiful outdoors so um thank you very much for watching um i suppose i meant to say at this stage that uh, if you've got any value or you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe um so you don't miss an episode and hit the bell thing um anyway just thank you very much for watching um, i hope you enjoyed my first uh, video with a gopro and hopefully i'm getting better with my filming skills hopefully my camera operator also known as my son, he's getting better with his filming skills and hopefully the result of this today will be an awesome video that you've just watched because my editing skills are getting better so thank you very much.